All right, welcome back. Uh, so what we're going to do now is learn how to manage the back stack. Uh, so we should probably talk about, about this a little bit. So I have my Magna Carta still up and uh, running here. Um, now, if I hit uh, back, right, then the correct thing should happen. Oh no, I just I just jumped out of there. Uh oh, that's not not very good. Okay. Um, well, let's let's go ahead and, and slide back to my historical docs here, and see what see what I got. Uh, so, hmm. Uh, I want it to go back to the uh, back to the the other document, right? Um, so let's let's go ahead and and do that. I want it to go back to the to the uh, excuse me to the doc list, right? Uh, hmm. All right. What we really want, like we said, is is to go back to the doc list fragment. Uh, now with activities that would have happened sort of automatically uh, because the back stack is managed for us, but with fragments we need to do it ourselves. And it turns out that that's that that's pretty easy, right? And you can add one line of code into your transaction. Right, and this is this is at the time that you're replacing, and I don't think it matters wow, whether you do it before or after because it's all part of the same transaction. Um, you're going to go ahead and add to your back stack, um, and you can give it some some kind of a tag here, so that this transaction is going to get added, so that we can go back to it. Right, so it's going to push it onto the stack for us. All right, so let's do this. So so um, uh, so, and again, this this is going to be on when our document is selected. All right. So, so when we're going from the list to the detail, we add to back stack, All right. so that it's there when we come back, and that's it. Let's run it. All right. So running it, I'm going to go back into a document uh, and I'll open up the Magna Carta again, and from here I'm going to hit my back button, All right? And we'll check it out, and we go back. Awesome, right? So. It, it, it actually is pretty impressive, right? So here's the Mayflower Compact, and we come back, and it looks, works, works great. Uh, but let's try something. Let's go into the next one here, so give me liberty. Um, it doesn't really matter which, which one you pick. Any of them is fine. Uh, and then from there, I want you to open up your drawer and go to the About. Okay. Now, what should Back do now? All right. And if you're thinking about it here, uh, Back should probably back us up out of the app, the app right? This, in some sense, is, is you know, it's, it's sort of at the, at the top level. Uh, but when I hit back here, it's going to bring me back to um, back here because it popped off the back stack and and uh, and um, goes back to the this list here, and that's not what we want. So what we want to do is we want to um, clear the back stack, and the way that we do that is is actually pretty pretty simple. Um, whenever we switch uh, to the about or the list fragment, so again this is going to be when the nav item is selected, part of the transaction that we're going to do is going to be to clear this. And if you look, there's some discussion as far as different ways to do that, whether you want to use a tag and whether you can do it as a one-liner or not. Uh, I haven't been paying careful attention to tags, so a, a easy way to do this is to just have a loop that's going to loop over um, however many things are in the back stack. Um, and, and of course, we know it's going to be one, but good programming practice here. Um, so we loop over, over the count, uh, and then we're, we're going to go ahead and um, pop off the back stack uh, immediately, basically, like like just take it off there right now, right? Uh, so let's let's go ahead and do this. All right. So again, I'm I'm up here, part of my transaction. Uh, let's put in a for loop. For i goes from zero, i is less than um, my support fragment managers, um, and let's see the backstack entry count. And then within here, I want to ft.pop. Uh, let's see, sorry. So um, it's the fragment manager that does this. So, and I could have saved that out as a, as a local variable if I wanted to. Um, so pop back stack, and the right one is, is immediate. Okay. And this should pop anything that's any other transactions that are, that are saved on the back stack. All right. And trying this out here, um, I'm going to navigate into one of these guys. So, in, say, into the Mayfire Compact. And then um, I'm going to come out here and I click about. And then if I hit back, it should exit the app, which it does. So uh, awesome. All right. Um, parting comment for you. Uh, so you remember when we first started this uh, this this app, um, we we put in a fragment transaction in on create uh, that added a, a, a transaction, right? 
And I mean, that, that still kind of makes sense. I mean, maybe, maybe we'd, we do really want it to start with a particular fragment. So let's go ahead and, and try that out and, and see how it works. Right. Um, so I'm going to grab, let's see, I think it still should be commented out up here. So back up and on create, uncomment this, uh, control slash, we'll do that and run again. All right, so it appears here. Um, so it looks, looks pretty good. Um, so what I want to do is, uh, you know, I can I can go ahead and, and navigate around. So maybe I go to to one of the different screens and kind of kind of go in. Uh, looks great. Um, I can try rotating my screen and see what happens. And it goes a little bit off there, um, and it looks like my my. Uh, so I don't have a different layout for it. Oh wait a minute. Oh weirdness is happening here. Uh oh, rotation. Um, hmm. So let's go back to our uh, let's go back to our about here. Uh oh, about got added on top of this guy. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess that's exactly what I told it to do, right? I told it that whenever the the fragment is uh, or whenever this activity is created, um, to add the fragment in, right? And it's interesting. It tried to persist what it already had, uh, but then I told it to add it again. So so kind of kind of an issue here. Um, and the thing is that you know when it's using the saved instance state, right? And there's there's some things that are going on here uh, that are, that are tr it's trying to to recreate the fragment for us, and it's doing some of the persistence, but then we're sort of beating it over the head. So really, if we want it to happen only on the first um, the first time, what we should do is we should uh, put a little guard around this guy, and check to see uh, if the saved instance state is null, which it will be the first time you run it. Uh, then, then go ahead and and add the the fragment. Otherwise, not so much. All right, and you should go ahead and, and test this out. Make sure it works for you. That's all we got for this lesson. All right, we'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed our, our work with fragments.